everyone, it's Michael. So today is the day. We've made it through the countdown. Today we get our total knee replacement surgery done at the wonderful hospital for special surgery. And I'm ready, I'm not nervous. If you followed along, you've seen some of the videos of my prehab. We've worked expectations and fluidity and agility, working our upper body and our core. Got my yoga on to open up my hips. Did some other exercises to have good strength. And of course, working on mindfulness. That's the one thing that we really haven't talked about. But it's been key in the prehab. And if you don't have a mindfulness practice and you're going into something major, I would definitely recommend it. It can help open up your awareness, sharpen your focus, and in this particular case, approach your moments with some level of equanimity or a sense of calm as the bumblebee flies past so I know this was all part of my journey. Back in 2001, July 11th, the doctor said, hey, both knees will probably get replaced in five years. The right one is doing great. The left one, well, it made it 20 years. We 4 x their predictions. All along this journey, I've been able to surpass expectations and I plan to do so with this recovery. I'm so grateful that I live where I do in proximity with the hospital for special surgery and with my surgical team. I have 100% confidence in our approach. Next thing is, oh, of course, have the surgery, but then get my rehab on. And I'll document that and I'll show you that experience. Because I know many of you have been following, you might know someone that has to go through something like this, or you might have to go through something like this on your own. So I would definitely recommend tapping into some of the things I've already shared in the videos, but also this, again, doubling down on this concept, this practice. Mindfulness is not woo-woo. The people who don't get it, judge it that way. It is that secret sauce that's helped me through my recovery, it's helped me in my career. And when you think about it, if you just leave meditation and mindfulness off on the side, if someone came to you and say, hey, if you want to approach your life with more awareness and more focus and a sense of equanimity and calm so you're not so reactive, so you can be more responsive, you would probably sign up for all that. Well, it's through mindfulness that can lead you to those qualities. Meditation is just one form of mindfulness. You can do mindfulness in a whole bunch of different ways. And certainly I'll be practicing it as I approach my surgery this afternoon at four o'clock. So I can have water, nothing by, no food. So I can have clear liquids up until one. And then we head into the city, probably spend a week in the hospital because this surgery is not your typical knee replacement. It's complex. It's not a 10 out of 10. We don't want to exaggerate for a fact, but it's about a seven out of 10. So it ain't no joke as they say. So I'll need to keep the leg immobilized for a week to allow the skin graft to heal before I can start really rehabbing it. And I'll work with my pain through mindfulness, through meditation, and different holistic ways of handling it. And I'll share that journey with you. So I hope you'll follow along. I hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Just to, one, share some wisdom each week just on how you can manage your career, but also follow this journey. So today's the day. We made it. So, and thanks for following along as I get, you know, close to uh, close to this this special day for me it's is that version 2.0 i look at my accident as version 2.0 of michael this is going to be version 3.0 it's going to allow me to regain the functionality of my leg and do that cross country bike ride next year from astoria oregon to yorktown virginia and celebrate 21 years so the ride will be even more epic and i will be bionic as we do it but my hope though is through my story and the reason why i share it is that it will connect with you that will inspire you it will inspire you to believe in yourself that you can do hard things when you have the right frame of mind and you have the right people bringing out the best in you if you have the right peloton if you will the world's at a wonky place right now i believe we're on the cusp of something great or we can revert back to old behaviors my hope is that through this moment that we've all lived through together, that we'll lean in to it. Yeah, it's going to be tough because we have to do things differently. We have to do th new things. But again, going back to what I just said, you and I and all of us, we can do hard things. And mindfulness is just one way of getting it, getting it done. 
You need adaptability, agility, resilience, some of the things I've already shared in this video series. But I believe that my surgery, much like this moment, is the beginning of something brand new and wonderful. And I can't wait what this experience is going to allow me to create and to become as we go forward. Just like I believe this moment is going to allow us and to become something better than we were yesterday. And I hope you'll join me on that journey. So with that, I'm gonna go back to hydrating. I wanna be a good patient. Remember, if you have a tough moment or two, you can always come back to your breath. You got this and we got you. And don't forget to uh, pause, breathe, reflect, and of course, have fun storming the castle. I'll update a video once we get done uh, with the surgery and once I get into recovery, just to share that experience with you. And again, I hope you'll follow us along and I hope it inspires you to do hard things as well. Love you. Talk to you soon.